All right, good evening and welcome back. Happy Thursday, hope all is well. This was a non this is an unscheduled unscheduled live chat for this evening. So if there's anybody out there who wants to say hello, please do. I won't be on too long. Let's see what's on the news for tonight. We do have a couple of channel updates. I'll get to those in a moment. Let me go ahead and pop out the chat here. Give me a second. Music once again is from the YouTube audio library. All right, I got the chat running. Very good. All right, looking good. Okay. And uh, let's go to transition here. And there we are. If you are new to all this, I'm running something called Ubuntu Mate, or it's pronounced Ubuntu Mate for this evening. Sometimes I'll stream in Windows 10. Running the Ubuntu Mate dark theme. Let's keep the uh, ticker up and running. Hello Quails, good evening. How are you? Xbox new code of conduct. Uh oh. Yes to get wrecked. Potato aim, no to hate. So they just figured out that, huh? <laughs> they just figured that out, no to hate? Die! Oh, I will terminate all hate, ball. <laughs> anyway, welcome to tonight's street. Don't be shy at anybody else out there. Say hello. <laughs> That's a bit loud. Turn that down a little bit. All right. You can keep watching if you want. Red Hot Red Hat has changed its logo for the first time in 20 years. Wow. Took him a while, huh? Oofer! Hello, man. Welcome. Are you new to the chat? If you are, welcome. I like this song. There's the playlist for this evening, if you're interested. Oh, you're not new? Okay. Well, welcome anyway. Pretty soon Windows 7 can play this song. Going, going, gone at the end of the year, right? Anyway, so what's new?
All right, just a couple of channel updates. Tomorrow night, you can join me if you are available. So what the channel updates are tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Uh, Saturday morning. We'll do like a Good Morning Linux or something like that. We might do something Saturday night if there's any demand. Uh, I'll record Sunday. I will record the news and nonsense. Sunday night, we'll do a Life in Linux at 10 o'clock. And then Monday through Friday, I'm keeping that week opened. This will be my first full schedule, well, since last year, that I'm going to try for about a week. Uh, I took some personal time. I hope it's worth it, so we'll see. So again, tomorrow night, 9 p.m., uh, Saturday morning, 10 a.m. local time. Maybe Saturday night do a show. Sunday will be News Nonsense. We'll do a Life in Linux Sunday night at 10 p.m. local time. And then I'm open for Monday through Friday. That's probably the number one request I get on the channel. Do you have a schedule? Well, I don't do this full time, so it's possible to put up a regular schedule. But So those, those are the updates for this week starting tomorrow evening. Uh, yeah, so you guys let me know. Spread the word. Tomorrow night's topic will be, uh, well, it's Thank Toss, it's Friday, will be, uh, a comments corner. Uh, Saturday morning, we'll do, uh, was it 10 a.m., 11 a.m., somewhere around there. We'll do a, a Lubuntu for Windows users. I'll post, uh, I'll show you a short video I did for Lubuntu. I can tell you that I like it. I don't know yet for Saturday night. You, you guys can tell me. And then Sunday night, May the 5th, we'll do uh, Life in Linux, uh, the perfect PC. Is there such a thing? That'll be probably 10 p.m. And like I said, Monday through Friday, my schedule is open. So you guys let me know. LJ, Pellegrino, Dennis, and Frostby, what's up? All right, well, let's take a look at the news and see what's up here. Microsoft unveils HoloLens 2 developer for $3,500. Not interested. Galaxy Fold problems. Uh-oh. Yeah, I know. A $2,000 brick. Hello, digital entity. Google unveils, unveils auto-delete for location, web, and app usage data. Hmm, that's interesting. If it actually works. Facebook announces new secret crush. <laughs> I got a crush on you, sweetie pie. Interesting. Razor is actually going to make a toaster. Huh? What? Wow. Okay. What Amazon knows about you? Everything. Smartwatch shipments up 48%. That's interesting. The Camaro gets a quick make over there. They are still making the Camaro? Yeah, I know, the first Razor toaster. What, it's a combination toaster cell phone? Talk about a hot conversation, ha ha. <laughs> India's two week BAM cost TikTok 15 million years. What's up with TikTok? Interesting. Fubo TV. What the bleep is Fubo TV? Do you guys know? Hello, Jordan. Welcome. I've never heard of Fubo. As a Fubar? I don't know, man. Ah. <sighs> 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, right. P putting two laptops together. Mm hmm. Hi, Heather. Welcome. Can Alexa, Google Home, Nest, Furbo actually make life better? Yes, who needs privacy? <laughs> Excuse me. Wow, a smartwatch with 30 day battery life? Really? That's interesting. I'm doing good, Heather. So this says 30 day battery life. Wow. That's what it says. That's interesting. Number one new release. Huh. That's pretty cool. I have to check that out. I like I like battery power, don't you? Alright. Let's see what else we have here. Windows 10, 1903, rolling out improved Windows update controls. What, they're telling you to upgrade to Ubuntu? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. The watches are so ugly. I guess some of them are kind of bland, huh? Yeah. Enarita! How are you? Yes, thank you for asking. I actually, he actually called me today. He arrived he late. His first flight was canceled out of Rome. He had to wait uh, six hours at the airport to pick up the second flight. Uh, flying to New York, but he is safe and sound. He called. I need to call him back tonight before I go to bed. And uh, we spoke briefly, but I got the okay from him to uh, uh, redo, do another trailer of his movie that I can post. I'll let you know when I do that. So a little bit of a, a little bit of a teaser for you guys and gals. So be on the lookout for that trailer when I get to it. Uh, but he is fine. He's tired, but he's fine. Uh, right now, Heather, he is in New York. Uh, he's going to try and make it here next week. I hope. So we'll see. He's not sure. Yeah, he's he's hanging in there. He's he's a little burned out from the uh, all the traveling between where he lives in South uh, South Italy and Rome, you know, trying to promote the movie. He's been doing it now. Uh, he's been on the road while well, there and here for two years, and it's it's tiring. And he's kind of he's kind of burned out with all of the politics and the other stuff. So yeah, so. Still no deal, no sale on the movie, at least not yet. Even though everybody likes it, the uh, newspaper reporters, bloggers, they love it. I think one critic said the movie uh, was made with infinite sweetness. That was a really, really nice, nice review. Uh, that was very kind of that writer. The Vatican likes it. They loved it. They endorsed it. The Italian Jewish community loves it. The Italian Parliament, the big shots, they loved it. They never saw a movie like that before. 
Uh, but we're just waiting for a deal so all, all you guys can see it out in the theater or on Netflix or somewhere. Um, yeah, he, I hope it picks up some new bites too. But in the meantime, since we don't have a sale, I'll have to put up another website for the movie and a trailer. So if I get to it this weekend, maybe I'll do it then. And that's where we're at. But he's in, he's in Log Island right now. I tried to call him. There was nobody there, but... He might be out having dinner. I'll wait a little bit longer before I go to bed. And that's where we're at. So hopefully uh, I'll, I'll get a trailer up here running soon enough. I think you'll enjoy it. In the meantime, if you search this guy, uh, let's see if I spell it right. Hi, Tony. If you search this guy here, Sandro Di Stefano, he's an award-winning uh, music composer. He composed the music for my dad's film. Very talented. I think he's won two Academy Awards overseas the last uh, three years. Uh, this is one of his movies, Second Spring, that he did the music for. Uh, but this guy is very, very, very talented to say the least. Here's some bio here. He teaches music in Italy, music composition. As you can see, a very long bio. Um, so he's been busy. Uh, he, he, he doesn't want to give away his rights. No, he's willing to cut a deal. Uh, but to just give it away after all these years, he's not going to do that. But he's willing to cut a deal. You know, split the rights or split the profits. Um, you know, it's. I think it's a fair deal, but it's not my call. But I agree with what he's trying to do. Anyway, this gentleman, he is the music composer, and you can see this is an award he won back in uh, 2016, uh, somewhere in Italy. Like I said, he's not really well known here in the States. Uh, but if my dad's film got released, he will be, will be very well known because the music is incredible. Anyway, that's where we're at, so. So what's up, Tony? If I do a search, let me see here. Hi, Steve. Um, yeah, so if you guys search this in Italian, La Croce e La Stella, uh, there's some bites on here. Uh, some stills from the movie. This is a couple of film festivals. This is the director. Salvatore Lopian. He's 83, I believe. Uh, Anna Rita. And yeah. Yeah, there's about... Uh, yeah, the first page of YouTube has all about the movie. Um, These are some production stills from the movie. This is at one of the film festivals uh, from last year, I believe. <laughs> and a banana. <laughs> anyway. Um, this is the... Uh, tentatively, this is the uh, poster for the movie. A, uh, a still from the movie, so...
Cantatore, cantata. Dennis, do you sing? <laughs> this picture here, this is from the Italian Parliament. Last month, the month before, there was a private screening in Italy. Uh, not the ad. This is at the Italian. It's 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 their version of Congress. Uh, can't really tell here, but my dad's right over here, right over here. This is one of the actors here, but he's right here. This is in Rome. So yeah, some good feedback on the movie. Um, Here's another production or uh, still from the private screening in Italy. Uh, where was it? There should be another one here. Will this show up? Here it is. Yeah. And my dad's. I, I know it's hard to tell, but he's right here. So. My father is 10 years old than your dad, Anna Rita. Okay, all right. Anyway. Uh, he's not in this picture, but uh, a couple of the actors. And um, anyway. But there's another write-up in another newspaper from January. Anyway, if you just type this in, La Croce, this will give you some idea about the movie. This is the title here, La Croce, eh, La Croce e la Stella. So... Again, for those of you joining in late, just some updates. Tomorrow night, Thank Toss, it's Friday, 9 p.m. Comments Corner. We'll take a look at some of your comments. Uh, Saturday morning, I think, 11 a.m., we'll do uh, another live show, Lubuntu for Windows users. Saturday night, I'm open. If you guys want to see a live show, you tell me. Sunday, I'll record News and Nonsense. Sunday night, life in Linux. What is the perfect PC? Sunday night, I figure 10 p.m. And like I said, Monday through Friday, I am open. You guys tell me. That is going to be my full schedule for the week. So I hope this is all worth it. Here's the word sexy again. Am I on the right channel? I've seen the word sexy life for the third time. Chicago without a film. Denise, look for a trailer maybe this weekend. The remaster trailer I'm going to do, yeah, that I will post. So hopefully I'll get it done this weekend. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> like I said, I must be on the wrong channel for tonight. <laughs> Uh. Your middle name, huh? The perfect PC hasn't been made yet, but it is, it'll run Linux. You know, Chromebooks come close. Believe it or not, I guess the only drawback is, is that they're web-based, but they're stable, they're inexpensive, they work, they're private as much as possible, they're secure. You can do Windows, Linux, Android. They're about as perfect as you can get. The only thing is they're, they're web-based, so it is somewhat limited. But the Chromebooks are pretty close, believe it or not. Uh, 
Ah, it's just me. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's running Gen two. It's it's running a form of Gen two Linux, right, Lamer? <laughs> Of course, once you get on the web, is there such a thing as privacy? Probably not. Alright, let's see what's on the... Uh... On news. Yeah, I know. Google Chrome just works. I've played with the Chrome box. They're pretty impressive. Okay. Monkey steals money from toll booth cash register. <laughs> I don't know why I fuck that funny, but... Hey, boss, the money's gone. Who took it? A monkey. Have you been drinking? No, I'm telling you, boss, a freaking monkey stole the money. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Would you see Google OS pulling a software as a subscription model like when the No, Jonathan, because they don't they don't have to do that. I suppose it's possible, but I do not see them do that, no. Anyway. Smart monkey. Crash test dummies launched from New Jersey roller coaster to hotel roof. Yes, because you never know when you're going to have an accident on top of a hotel roof. Die. Ooh, strawberry cake. Oh, wow. Hundred and ninety eight point four foot cake. Wow. One thousand seven hundred and sixty three pounds of strawberries. Mm mm mm. Okay. Anyway. No, I don't want that. Alright. You have to pay for services in the UK for Gox, the Dock, Slides and Drive. Really? You do have to pay for that? That's interesting. Yeah, I know. That's... I guess they really love their cakes. Yeah, not good for sweet tooth. If you have any teeth left after eating all that. Almost 200 feet long. Wow. Man, I'm getting hungry. Figures. Ooh, 
Who's going to eat all that cake? Oh, <laughs> die! I am. <laughs> who, who else? <laughs> I know. All the calories, right? Yeah. Taco Thursday today, Steve? So first you have the taco, then you have the uh, cheese, ca the uh, strawberry cake. Yeah. Sounds good to me, man. Doesn't that look lovely? Mm, mm, mm. So now they're measuring it. <laughs> Hello, CJ. This is the world's longest strawberry cake in Italy. <laughs> Yeah. What's up, CJ? You're coming in a little late, but that's all right. My dad, my dad's in New York, so I spoke to him briefly today. Uh, he gave me the okay to do another trailer, um, so hopefully I will do that this weekend to show it to you guys. Man, I got hungry like 10, 10, 10, 10 minutes ago, Anna Rita. Yeah. <laughs> it did look yummy, didn't it? Burger King is in introducing unhappy meals. What the bleep is an unhappy meal? Linux programmer says you need to stop promoting Chromebooks. Why? They're stable. They work. Real meals. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's take a look at some Linux news, and I'm going to wrap this up for tonight. Again, join me tomorrow night for Thank Toss. It's Friday. And your comments for tomorrow evening. Speak of dessert or desert. <laughs> a good gaming distro? Um, I don't know, guys. Have you mess, mess, messed with specific gaming distros? Um, to me, to me, the best gaming distro is the one that's the most stable. XLDN Desert? Yeah. Um, yeah, I would say Ubuntu. Yeah. Or Ubuntu based.
Ah, sandy desert, okay. Okay. I like to, uh, I don't distro hop, I prefer to web browser hop, as you can see, Chromium, Firefox, Chrome Opera, I'll probably install Pale Moon, um, Vivaldi, yeah, I, I, I like to test different browsers, um, just out of curiosity, so yeah. All right, five minute warning, and then I'm gonna wrap this up. You don't distro browser hop either, only main Google Chrome, and usually use Firefox as Chrome if it's messing up. Okay. Yeah, for me, I find Chrome to be considerably faster than Firefox and Linux for whatever reason. DuckDuckGo, the internet privacy company, very good. Opera has a built-in VPN by the way, which is nice. Water Fox, Fire Fox, all right. Pajama time, Anarita. Have fun. Hello, pizza. Yeah, I'm going to wrap this up here. Chrome translator function. Firefox no longer has the S3 translator. Ah, okay. Pizza's my official timekeeper referee here for the channel. Thank you, Pizza. <laughs> anyway, all right, last call for comments. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow night for a comments corner. Should be interesting.
Yep, Opera has VPN. Right there, mate. There you go. Tesla, anyway. All right, so once again, tomorrow night, 9 a.m., Saturday morning, probably 11 a.m., you can join me. Uh, talking about Lubuntu. I don't know about Saturday night. That's up to you guys. And uh, send me some emails or comments, and we'll go from there. Sunday News Nonsense recorded. Sunday night, 10 p.m., Life in Linux. It's been a while. And then Monday through Friday, once again, I'll keep the days open. Um, and we'll go from there. Sunday night uh, looks like... Where's my notes, Anna Rita? Sunday night looks like 10 p.m. for Life in Linux. I think it's going to be me and switch to Linux if he's available. Life in Linux, 10 p.m. local time. Sunday night. I don't know yet for Saturday night, so... Sunday night, 10 p.m. Then I'll see you about Monday through Friday, so. All right, on that note, I wish you guys uh, a very good evening, and I guess I'll catch you uh, tomorrow night. Be safe. Stay dry. <laughs> if it's raining there like it is here. All right, have a good one. Ciao.